those that don't have a clue what I'm talking about because I'm talking so quick, so fast, you can go over the video today. And I do this every day so that way students don't have the experience of work. The excuse of I didn't know what went on in class because I wasn't there. Well, see that that excuse is gone now. One of the things you'll learn about me is I try to get rid of all excuses. Oh my gosh, my phone went off. So that means y'all have to go into cardiac arrest. Or oh, that's that's me that goes into cardiac arrest. Which one is it? I do not go into cardiac arrest because I have a phone and it goes off. For a teacher to complain about people having cell phones is to be very hypocritical, and I don't do that. The only thing I do ask is that you be as courteous as I am, okay? So, and you'll see me be courteous because I just turned mine down, and... They hit me how they send you all these emails right at the beginning of class. Like, okay, they don't have anything to do. It's the beginning of class. They're sitting in their office doing nothing. And I've gotten five emails. It's a conspiracy. That's what it is. All right. That's done. That's done. Let's pull up our emails that y'all didn't print out. Because I know you didn't print them out because only half of you did. Probably, yeah, there's probably three of y'all. There's just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Probably six of y'all printed them out. Six of y'all don't have, about four of y'all don't have a clue what I'm talking about because you don't read your emails, which I don't understand that either, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to even ask. So those of you that don't have a clue what I'm talking about, just, just read. Okay. Did you? Okay. Well, you're a good student. You're still going to fail. All right. Now, in a box and ditch. You're going to fail. All right. I think I got them on here somewhere. Sent. And I think I got first email. I hate these. I hate the way this email works. I think that's it, isn't it? Okay. That's the first email. Okay. See, you can't pull up that blame thing with these emails. You have to do a search with everything. And now, I hate these emails. I sent y'all an email last night, or day before, or yesterday sometime. No, the first email don't have that. Oh, there it is. No, there it is. There it is. I got it. You have to look for the little whatever. All right. The first one that we're going to go over is the syllabus. Because that's most important. Because that's the one thing that y'all don't read. So we'll go over it. So therefore, I'm forcing y'all to go over it. Yep, there it is. It pulled up. Now, I don't care about these first 15 pages. They're worthless. The only thing I care about is the last page. Okay. Now, if y'all will look closely, we have five units. Five units. And I went through this in one of the... Uh, one of the uh, handout or one of the whatever you call it emails. So we're gonna we're gonna be adults here, and we're gonna figure out how we're going to do things to try to get everything in by. Go ahead, and calibrate because I know it's not calibrating. And be This is what y'all all should already be doing, but. Rock County Tech believes that we have to go through it with y'all because y'all are all out of separate grade. So we have to do this. 
There he is. Seven weeks in your semester. And we have five units to cover. So how can I tell how much per week we got per unit? Well, I can take seven and divide it by five. Five will run seven one time, and that'll leave 20. 1.4 weeks per unit. So what you need to do, and this is not an online class, and I'm not going to do exactly 1.4 weeks per unit. I'm not going to do that. Okay? But that'll give you some idea of how fast we're going to be moving. All right? I post, and I tell you, whenever I post a test, I do everything for you, okay? I do not, I do not take any cheap shots, okay? Not on the test and not on the dates. I don't, I don't sit here and say, well, I secretly post the test after I'm going to see it on Friday night and I'll make a good money and that way they can all fail because they don't do it. I don't do that, all right? I don't do that with test questions either. I don't say, well, we didn't cover properties exponents, so I'll make most of the test on properties exponents. I don't do that. There's only a few teachers that do that, and I'm not one of them, okay? I do not take cheap shots on test or dates. You can ask anybody, except for the girl that didn't like me last time. Uh, this is false in this she run out of high school, she's going to be treated like she was driving out of high school. So she, me and her didn't cheat out too well. But anyway, so you need to take your calendar out. Everybody take your calendars out on your phone, in your day book, whatever you got. And I want you to count one and a half weeks from today. And then I want you to count another one and a half weeks and another one and a half weeks. And that'll put you at about where we, how fast we're going to be going. Now, I doubt very seriously we're going to get all the way through the unit 5. Alright? So, I'm going to try to cover the important stuff that you... Stuffs, the important stuff that you're going to need for your next class. Most of you are probably going into 110 college algebra, or you're going into 102, I meant 120. In 120, you don't need all four units. In 110, you need all eight units, and we're only going through five. Okay, so you need everything you can get for college algebra. 109 is a watered down version of 110, so you ain't gonna worry about 109. You can just get five or three or four of those units. So those of you taking math 110 next semester, you're gonna need every bit you can get. So that's who I'm targeting. That's who I'm thinking about. Try to get as much as I can in for y'all. So I want you to tell me what's one and a half weeks from today. What day is that? I'm sorry, what? 520 seconds. So that'll be probably around a tentative day. Don't be coming around hamming me, hammy squirrel, okay? <laughs> I, I, I'll turn the bottle for around and walk away. I'm not going to put up with that, okay? All right? So if you're one of those people that likes to wait until the last minute and you're worried about dates, then you just need to take a pill before you come to class, okay? Because I'm not going to put up with that. This is tentative. This is not in concrete. All right, a week and a half from that. What is it? What's the next week and a half from 522? Just count. 10 days. What? June 3rd. June 3rd. That'd be around unit 2. Then what's 10 days from there? 613? Is that close enough? Unit 3. I hope y'all learned something here. This is what you're supposed to all know how to do. I've got to get it. 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 10 days from 613 is what? 630? 623? Or 6? Yeah, 623. Round about. And when's the class over? So that'll leave 715. Oh, it's at the beginning of the mm -hmm. yeah. I thought you had, I'm sorry, Stephanie, I'm sorry. We only have five weeks. Oh, that makes it much more easy. 
Okay, I'm used to seven a week. I'm sorry. Forget it. I see. All right. Let me just just delete the whole thing. Oh, I'm used to seven weeks. I'm not used to five weeks. Okay. You get your calculators out. Five divided by five <laughs> is equal to one week per unit. Yeah, I do need to go over this because Tri County Tech right. You may not be able to handle this. Okay. So uh, next Monday or Tuesday, whenever this class is, so uh, we meet once a week. I mean, we meet four or five times a week, I believe, right? Yes. So next Monday, we're probably talking about unit one test. And then the next, somebody give me that day. What is that day? Because the handies will be having a fifth. I don't the put 18. a date. The 18th? Yes. So that's 518. Okay, give me the next week. Probably. Uh, 25, that'll probably be, well, roundabout. This is tentative. And then 6-1, All right, there you go. And I'm going by Mondays, because today is Tuesday, and you put Tuesday here if you want to. I don't care what you do, okay? Um, this is tentative. This is just to give you an idea. Now, I will tell you something I do for summer classes. I do give y'all ample time to catch up on anything at the end of the semester. So it's not like I'm going to give you one test and then at the end of the semester you don't have time to make that a better grade. I, I do give everybody that a chance. So this is tentative. Now the word for tentative. The definition. If you don't know what tentative means, it's not written in stone. Okay? Not written in stone. That's what tentative means. What? Alright. You're going to fail this class, alright? You're not supposed to pick out my problems. No. I have issues, okay? There you go. Not written in stone. One of my problems is when my mind's thinking, I'll write what my mind is thinking. So that's why I wrote the yes, I'll go two or three steps ahead. You know what? Um, so this will tell you how fast we're moving. So if you see something that you want to go ahead and do in your book or in your homework, knock yourself out. Okay? But just don't come in here expecting me to be at that place if I got people still asking questions on 1.2 and 1.1 and you're in 15.8. Okay? I'm not going to cover your questions till we get 15.8. Okay? So if you want to impress somebody, impress your parents or impress your boyfriend or girlfriend, but don't try to impress anybody in here because you're not. You're just going to make the class uncomfortable and I don't like that. Okay? Alright, so here's your tentative date. Happy, happy, happy. All right, everybody feels good about that, and all the hemis can do their dates and be happy. That doesn't mean we won't have a test on those dates, but that takes care of that. So all I want you to have, I want you to keep one page of your syllabus, and that page is the page that I just had a while ago that I can't find right now. But anyway. I'll pull it over the PDF file. That page right there I want you to keep in your notebook. So if you got one of those plastic notebooks, the, the plastic clear stuff on the outside, you need to put this on the sleeve on the inside cover. The other page that you need to keep on the outside cover is the attachment that says things I will be graded on. Which I'm going to try to find. Here are things you will be graded on. And it looks like this. Like that. There we go. It's the one that I have. I use my Lab Plus for everything. Homework, test, and grade book. Oh, I get so many students that don't read. So I have to do this three or four times. Okay. Um, I don't. Does Does it say anything about Blackboard? Have y'all seen anything on my handout that says anything about Blackboard? Mm -hmm. So what does that mean? Duh! 
Don't use it, okay? I mean, I don't use Blackboard. So don't call me up or email me saying, Amber, yeah, Blackboard's down and I can't find it. Shut up. I didn't tell you to use Blackboard. Well, how do you get to TCTC? I mean, how do you get to My Labs Plus? I'll show you. Because Blackboard half the time is down. Okay? Here are things you will be graded on. Refer to your syllabus for the exact number of units. The only difference between Math 120 may have four unit tests and Math 102 have five units. So Math 102, 120, they'll be able to go over less units per week or whatever. In other words, they got one and a half weeks or two in their 14, a 10 week class. And that's these things right here, all right? I use my last plus for everything, homework, test, and grade book. Now let me ask y'all a question. Y'all gonna laugh. Y'all think I'm, I think, I, I, I get emails at the end of the semester. Homework, what do you think homework means? Homework, what do you think test means? And what do you think grade book means? Yeah, in other words, you're not gonna write me a you're not going to write me an email at the end of the semester that says, uh, or end of the seven weeks, that says, Hubert, does the grade on grade book in my math lab, does it, does it mean that's the grade I have for the course? Nope. That's the predicted temperature for July 4th at 7 o'clock. Why would you ask that question? If I have told you I do everything on my lab plus, I do my homework, I do my test and I do my grade book. Why would you ask me that question? Well, you may have done, you may have taken up, oh, I don't take up anything in here. Well, you may have pop quizzes. I don't have any pop quizzes. You may take up bonuses. I don't take up anything in here. Because that is what? Paperwork. I cannot stand paperwork, period. I beat my head up against the wall in 1996, 1997, trying to get Tri-County Tech to use Course Compass when we had it on disk. And I had been fighting ever since then. And finally, the last two or three years, the department heads go, hey, we can use Course Compass and teachers won't have to put up. Yeah, well, way to go. I've only had it for 10 years. But anyway. Don't, don't, don't email me stuff like that because you're not thinking, all right? Now, if I take up bonus questions and take up homework and take up stuff that you have to turn in to me and I have to grade, then yes, that is a legitimate question. But if I do everything on Course Compass, then that means the grades you got on Course Compass or My Lab Plus or My, my Math Lab, whatever, it's the same thing, that's your grade, period. Well, Hubert, I don't know what a 90 is. Well, you need to read your syllabus. Because your syllabus tells you. That's why you have to read. Okay? All right. Homework. Homework online is started when I start the material. So hammies, hammy squirrels, if I don't cover any material today, you don't have to worry about any homework. Homework deadlines will be posted when we get toward the end of the unit. For example, this is made up. I have to put this is made up because I will get somebody thinking that we're doing chapter eight for the first unit. And they'll go home and they'll spaz when they see it's identities of matrices or something like that. For example, this is made up. If we are on unit one and it covers 8.1 through 8.8, .8, when we get to 8.7 in the class, that's when you need to worry about what? Test and what? Deadline for homework is that simple. I mean, I don't know how else to make that easy. Uh, now I know what. I'll give you all two days to do each section of homework. That means I'll have to extend your test when you have five dead grandmothers and 15 dead and 15 flat tires. I'll have to extend each one of your homeworks a couple of days and you will not turn in your homework, so I have to extend yours to Friday, and you won't be able to turn in yours, I have to extend yours. That will make more work for me. Or I can just make it at the end of the homework, at the end of the session, the unit, and just have one day, and you can do that last section of homework. As long as you've done your homework, all you gotta do is that last section of homework. Okay, so I'm not gonna make extra work for myself and put in individual 
deadlines for your homework because that, that don't work. I tried that. I tried that about the second semester I tried this. That don't work at all. So I'm not going to do that. You can print out your homework or do it on your own. You know the conventional way? Print out the homework. I'll show you how to do it. Print out the homework. Do it by paper and pencil, just like you did 15 years ago. And then take the answers and type them in to Course Compass or My Math Lab or My Lab Plus. Okay? All right, this is important. If you don't see a start date or an end date, what should you do? Pester the teacher until they get mad at you and hang up on you? Or don't worry about it. You don't need to worry about it. Who's responsible for you getting the material done in here? You or me? I'm the one that is teaching the material. I'm the one that you can blame if we don't get to chapter 3 or chapter 4 or chapter 5. You don't need to worry about that. I'm the one that you need to blame. So if I don't post it till next week, then that's when you need to worry about it. Online test. The following information is about taking tests online. I will give you two chances to take the test. Sometimes I give you all three. Depending. And in algebra, I have been known to give you all five because it's constant drill, drill, drill. And he said, why would you give them five? Well, we do have some people not in summer because usually summer, y'all are down-to-earth students that know how to study. Okay, But in the fall, I'll get a bunch of high school students in here and they think they can do five problems and make an A on the test. And they can't. And so what I do is I give you five tests and give you 25 to 30 problems. By the time you've taken four tests, how many problems have you done? At least 100, 125 problems. So those students that don't believe homework, what have they just done if they've taken the test four times? They've just done homework. And they find out by the fifth test that they made, hey, my grade's decent. So I take care of that excuse. For the ones that don't do homework, they still do homework because they take five sections, five tests. Even though they don't get a grade for homework, they still have done the homework. So that's another excuse that I have covered. My Labs Plus will take the what? What if I give you three grades? It will take the higher of the three grades. What if I give you five grades? It will take the higher of the five grades. This question is on the test. I give y'all test questions for my syllabi and handouts. I give y'all 10 questions on each test. Do I have people miss them? Yes. Each test. By unit 5, do I still have people miss them? Yes. There's people in the world that just don't want to pass. I will give you 7 to 10 days to take the test. It's take care of 7 dead grandmothers, 14 day funerals, uh, five flat tires, whatever y'all come up with, high, light, lightning hitting your house and burning it down, that'll take care of that because you can come up here and take it after your house burns down, you can come up here and take it in the lab. You take the test on your time, not class time. Multiple choice and open answer, you can review the print and you can review and print out your test after you have taken it. So after you take the first attempt, you can print it out, look over it, See where you made mistakes? Take the second time. The second one's not going to be exactly like the first one. That would be stupid of me. Okay? And I'll show you how that works. And there's your unit. This is y'all's unit one, unit two, unit three, unit four. And that is 60% of your grade. Right here is 60% of your grade. Okay? What does it say about the last test? So what does that mean? If I cover one section of unit five, then I'll give y'all a test on that section. That's it. <clears throat> that takes care of your questions on the last week when y'all start spazzing out about the final. I'm on, let's say that unit five covers chapter five. I don't know what it covers. And I'm on 5.1. And some of you handies out there, oh my God, there's six sections in chapter five. He's gonna try to cover six sections in one day. You don't register on my radar. Okay? You haven't read this. If I cover 5.1, then 5.1 is the only thing that's going to be on the test. And it's going to be the last day of test. Last day of um, class is when I assign that test. 
and you have until the last day of finals. And we'll go over that in just a few minutes also. So that's that. that this is the second most important page. So this page you need to print out and put on the other side of your notebook, on the back or the front, you know. Those are the two most important pages in this class. Okay? Okay. So let's go over the other handouts, and I don't go over those as much. Just go over a couple of things. A uh, little bit about me. And I do this just so you have the you don't have the excuse of, well, I didn't know how to get in touch with you. Well, that's a bunch of bull crap. Because you have seven ways to get in touch with me. Dang old snail mail. Dang old cell phone. Office phone. Cell email. Home email. And I call that my cell email because it's my Gmail. I can pull it up on the computer. I'm not illiterate or anything. I know that. I just... That's the one that comes in on my phone, and I just put the sale email. Home email, office email, office, and directions how to get to my office for those that can't find their way. And office hours, I think I sent y'all a locator card. If I didn't, I will. And a little bit about me. The reason I tell you about me is for several reasons. One is I tell you about me because I used to get y'all to put on a piece of paper things about y'all. I'd write categories on the, on the, on the board and y'all would write things and we would switch papers around and y'all try to guess who wrote what you read out. But I don't do that anymore because people would screw it up and I just got tired of trying to explain why I was doing it. All, the reason I do that is try to make the class comfortable. And the whole point of the exercise is no matter what you do, no matter who you meet, you have something in common with me. And that was the whole point of the exercise. I could put six categories on the board and y'all would fill them out. Somebody would match on those six categories. Somebody. And it works a whole lot better with a class of 30 or more, but class of 10, I still say there'd probably be somebody have something in common, whether it's your favorite color or your birthday or, you know, you went to the same high school, just different years, you went to the same elementary school, something like that. And that's why I put my stuff up there because it's a little bit hypocritical for me to ask you about you when I don't give you nothing but my name and telephone number and tell you not to call it like some teachers do. So I give you a little bit about myself. I'm born and raised right here. I used to ride motorcycles around this area right here. For some of you old enough, this used to be a bunch of pine trees and you used to ride motorcycles out of here. And I used to ride motorcycles out of here. So, I was born and raised right here, three minutes away. So, and my roots go deep here. I got a lot of family here, and I'm from a community where everybody's kin to everybody. So, and that's a little bit about me. Okay. And I'm not trying to be modest or anything or whatever, conceited or whatever. I'm just, that's a little bit about me. Uh, here are things you would, Hubert's class courtesies. I usually don't have to go over this in the summer because summer students are usually pretty good students and I usually don't have to worry about it. But there are some things I would like to cover. One, I treat students the way I want to be treated. Now the first day of class, the first two days of class, I'm going through things 50 miles an hour. I may look a little bit stern. I may feel a little bit stern. But after the first couple of days, I kind of, I kind of, Whatever, I don't sound this time. Uh, cell phone. I have a cell phone. It went off. And y'all didn't have a heart attack, so I'm not going to have a heart attack when yours goes off. Uh, I've got two or three... Um, two or three numbers on here that if it goes off while I'm in classes, then I know something's wrong. Well, two numbers. Because my mother calls because she don't keep up with my schedule. But my mother calls, I know the cows are out or something's wrong on the farm or something. My daughter calls, it's either something's happened at school or she wants me to bring her Zaxby's for lunch. Or if my son calls, then I know something's wrong because he's not supposed to be calling me in elementary school. He's only eight years old. So I know he's either had an accident or he's beat up somebody or somebody beat him up or something. Okay. 
So those three calls I will answer and I will go out, I'll say excuse me, I'll go out in the hallway and I'll answer. So what I what do I expect from you? Same. If you have a text or a call that you have to answer because it's daycare, uh, parent care, <laughs> Uh, you've got a boyfriend that's just as bad as a child or you know somebody needs to contact you for some reason then go out the hallway text as much as you want that hallway is just like the highway out there. Tri-County Tech has no control over you in that highway out there. But once you set foot on this property we have our rules that you have to abide by. That hallway is like the highway as far as my rules. Okay. You go out there, you can run up and down the hallway with jello on top of your head. I don't care. Somebody might call security on you, but you can use your cell phone all you want to. Up there. Just don't use it in here because that is rude. Just think about it. If you was to come up to me and ask me a question after class, and why you were asking me a question, Hubert, I don't understand how I was texting. What is that? Rude. As Blankwood we would say. You haven't listened to Blankwood but you need to. You need to think about what you're doing while why you're doing it. How would this how would I feel if Hubert was doing this to me while I was asking him a question? Because me teaching is the same thing as you asking me a question and me texting. You texting while I'm teaching is the same thing. Okay? Well Hubert, what if I have to answer my you can do it while you're walking out. You can hit the send button and they know you're and they know you're walking out to the hallway. You just need to tell them that. If I answer you and there's nobody talking, just wait. I'm leaving class. Okay? That's all you gotta tell them. And that takes care of number two and three. Attendance. <laughs> I don't really care. I'm not gonna say that, but I don't really care. Financial aid, our federal government has passed down. They're gonna crack down. On these people stealing money. These five or six people, a lot of millions of people, you know, while we got 50 million people crossing the border illegally, they're going to crack down on financial aid people stealing money. So, I'm sorry. I, I think there's a whole lot more things our federal government needs to worry about other than the five or six people out of a million that might be stealing two or three thousand uh, dollars a semester. From the, I think there's a whole lot more going on that they need to worry about. But financial aid has passed down the last couple of semesters that we have to take mandatory attendance. As far as I'm concerned, you cross the threshold right there, you're here. You cross the threshold and you have to go take a test or something, you're here. You just got to tell me. Uh, I do know that some of you are in high school and some of you have families and some of you have lives this is not a residential campus so I know you have lives so just uh, I like to tell students as long as you're here weekly once a week I think we're okay. okay as long as I can put in a, a present here now and then I think we're okay you will get these bureaucratic emails it says you have to go to class in order to succeed you have missed two days that's not from me okay so please I don't uh, the only time I'm going to email you is when you email me I'm not going to email me and say you should get a class you're adults you're in college I'm not going to pamper you I will help you till I'll take two or three hours in the afternoon to help you but you got to come to me but that's another story I'm not going to sit here and Okay, uh, you need to really think about missing class. If you, you, need to, you need to attend class. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that. Mm. But try to take this. So, just I'll work with you if you work with me. Everybody got that? If you, if you, now that is a legitimate question. If you have a question, I, there's no dumb question about this. Okay. Um, the only thing is, if you've got a vacation coming up in May, do you need to tell me about it now? No. Tell me about it like a day before you leave so I can tell you what we're going to be covering. That's another thing. If I cover 5.2 today, chances are, what am I going to cover tomorrow? 
5.3 because we're going fast. That's why I gave you those dates. So you need to follow that outline that has the units. When I start teaching, that's when you start looking at that thing and saying, okay, I've got to miss tomorrow because I've got to go do this, this, and this, and I'm not going to be able to attend class. So he covered 5.2 yesterday. He's probably going to cover 5.3. And then how can you check to see that? By emailing me and asking me or by going to YouTube and looking at the video? Please, oh, somebody tell you to answer that. Because I usually get somebody in mm -hmm. Go to YouTube. All right, and we'll talk about that in just a minute. My class is based on work. You work, you pass. Okay? And I go on about you failing and all that. That's just, that's just to have people have fun. Okay? Because that irritates me. Uh, know it all is people that, you know, I call them NASA engineers. Yeah. You know everything. You're just at Tri County Tech taking a taking a class to get you ready for college algebra, but you already know everything. Think about that for a minute. All right, y'all can read that on your own. Um, I do like dang old interaction. That's number one. Dang old talk to me. If I ask you a question, answer it, all right? Yes, Hubert. Thank you, class. I don't think we're going to need a calculator in here. Get you a five-function calculator, sine, cosine, and tangent. We're not going to be using a... What does your syllabus say on calculators in this class? Anybody read it? I'm sorry, what? Okay. Just get a scientific one because it has uh, exponential keys, and I'll show you how to use that. I'll show you how to take the nth deri uh, derivative. Let's count this. The nth power, I'll tell you how to do that, but I'm not going to tell you how to take the square root of 25 because you should know the square root of 25 is 5. <clears throat> you should know that 6 times 9 is 54. Okay? And let's see what other handouts. Hubert's ideologies. That's pretty... Let you, now, why do, I, why do I do this? Why do I give you this? this what's the whole purpose of me giving you this? Because when I was a student here at Tri-County Tech, right after high school, Right after football, pretty much. It wasn't high school for me, it was football. I couldn't add fractions. So I don't want anybody coming up to me with this bull crap because it don't apply. Because I was as dumb as a post when it came to math, and I got a math degree. Not boasting, but it just takes a hard head. That's all it takes. A hard head and willingness not to quit and change my major just because I can't do math. Okay? I suffered from pretty much all of these except for DAD. I'm not a deadhead. I'm not. I never will be. That's those people that walk around. What day is it? What day is it? What time is it? The people irritate me. I had stubborn disorder. I had redneck disorder. I didn't have ignorant disorder. I just had redneck disorder, stubborn disorder, and lazy disorder. That was my problem. I had to change attitude. I had to change the word was there because people said that I was offensive. Dang old animal, okay? It's a dang old donkey. But I had to change it. So lazy attitude disorder, whining attitude disorder, deadhead disorder, stubborn disorder, redneck disorder, and ignorant disorder. I suffered from a few of them. Okay? All right, who's got questions for me right now? Because, I mean, on any of the handouts. Is that pretty much self-explanatory of what I... Here's your MyLabs Plus, uh, how to get on to MyLabs Plus. There it is right there. Uh, if you've taken this class before, you should not have to pay for it again. I think you can just go on there. And once you go on there, it'll ask you, do you have an old, old account when you type in your password? And I think it will automatically switch you or it will ask you, are you enrolled in this class? And you say yes, and I think it will take care of it. But I do not think you have to pay for it again. If you have taken it and you either had a crappy teacher or you didn't pay attention or you just both sucked and you failed. Okay? One of the two or both. Um, what about a book, Hubert? 
I don't care big bar steel. I don't care share. I don't care what you use. Because everybody in here has a brand new book. Where is it? It's online. Everybody in here has a book. So I don't need to worry about it. I'll show you that when we get to that point. Okay? So you can share a book. You can use an old book. You can borrow a book. Don't steal one. Don't say I stole it. I did not say steal one. I said share. Okay? Share. Borrow. Use an old book. Use a new book. Whatever you want to bring to class. I don't care. You can print it out by sections and bring it to class. You can come with nothing. I don't care. Because everybody has it online. Yes, me. Okay. You must have just added class. Okay. Uh-huh. Yes. It's 20%. 60, 20, and 20. And that's another test question. I give you all like 60, 20, 20, 30, 30, 30, quack, and water. What's the only possible answer? Why? Because 30, 30, 30 doesn't equal 100. That's one of the most missed questions on my 10, but it is 60, 20, 20. And that's on the bottom of your um, things I will be graded on. It's at the bottom, 60, 20, 20. Okay, anybody got another question about things that I've covered so far? Because I'm going to go over the my lab plus. I'm going to go over that in just a second. Anybody got any other questions about logistics of the class? I don't care what you write. I don't take up anything in here. You can write on the back of a plastic bag. I don't care. You can write in a notebook. You can use your iPad. I like iPads or pads or pamphlets or whatever you call it. I got a notebook or what do you call it? Other one. You HP, what do you call it? No, they call it something else. Tablet. Okay. Tablet, no, I like the tablets and I like the pads because I can see them. I don't like you pulling up porn on daggone laptops and I can't see it. Alright? Just make sure the just make sure the sound is disabled. I'm just kidding. That's a joke. It's a joke. Okay. Uh, no, there's some people that will come in and do Facebook and and that's rude also. I don't mind pads because I can see what you're doing on pads because they're flat. Um, I really don't like you to use. And you can use a laptop if it turns around and lays down as a pad. I don't mind that. But I don't want you to use a notebook where I cannot see the screen because that bothers me when I do walk around and you're playing on Pinterest. That's To me, that's rude. If you know the material, stay home. Please. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's not the same book. If it's the same book, you, you don't have to pay. All right. um, you must be a business major. Why are, you taking, why are you taking this class? What are you getting ready for? You've already taken 120. Okay, you're just taking a math. The college transfer of the math. That's what you're doing. Okay. Because the only other person that would take 120 and take 110 is a student in business getting ready for 109. But that's why I was asking. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. You have to, since anytime, if you change books, then you have to buy an ex or you have to buy whatever you need to buy to get onto My Labs Plus, and it'll tell you that. Okay? I think you have to get an access code in the bookstore. You can get it in the bookstore, you can get it with the book, or you can get it online. I think you can put your. Uh, credit card or debit card in and I've yet to hear of anybody to get fraudulent behavior from my labs plus I mean it's a book company okay I've yet to hear that so uh, and I've been with course compass and my math lab and my labs plus I've been with it since 96 so I've yet to hear of anybody getting harassed or fraudulent behavior from a book company a math book especially so, um, I think you're okay with that. Uh, let's go ahead and go look at my lab plus, if I can find it. I thought I had it pulled up. Did I have it pulled up? Yeah. When you go to my lab plus, this is what it's going to look like. And y'all are math 102. And I 
I'll just pull up my grade book. See how many losers aren't logged on yet. I use losers a lot. You get used to it. Oh my gosh, we got three people in here that are winners. The rest of y'all suck. Okay? Miss Burdett, you're a winner. Miss Turner, you're a winner. And Miss Ward, you're a winner. The rest of y'all, y'all gonna fail. So, might as well go ahead and quit. All right? Y'all good and encouraged now? I, I do that just for fun. Just for fun, okay? I have to explain that's just for fun because somebody got on hip and didn't mean to call me a loser. Y'all are going to have to liven up. Alright. Where is Miss Burdett? You're a winner. Where's Miss Turner? You're a winner. And Miss Ward? You're a winner. Got all winners. Y'all going to make the A's in here. I hope so. I doubt it. No, I'm just kidding. You did? You it's are. It's online. It's online. Yeah, listen, I have a, there is a teacher that teaches 101 and 102 that is in the class and has a dropout rate of like 75%. And I've told the person, I said, you, this class should not be a dropout rate of 75%. It should be a retention rate of 75%. Who was the teacher? Just curious. Who? I don't know. I think Miss Ward, you sent me a question, did you not? I could be wrong. I thought I was okay. Somebody sent me a question, could be from the one twenty. All right. Anyway. Okay, three of y'all, this is what, for those of you that have not got on yet, whenever you get there, you're going to, this is what you're, this is what it's going to look like right here. And these buttons over here are the important buttons because they are, there's three buttons over there that are important. Let me ask you what you think the three buttons are that are important. Homework. Tess. Oh my gosh, I tell you. I love the student that emails me the first week and goes, where do I go to get the homework? I don't know. Go down to the store, turn right. I, I mean, I, I'm sorry. Go to homework, and there's your homework right there. Now, how do you know which ones to do? Oh my gosh, I don't know which ones to do. You look at the what? Syllabus. You look at the syllabus or the day. It'll be up there when I when I do decide to put it on there. But that's where the syllabus comes in. That's where you have to read. Okay. Quizzes and tests. There should be nothing there. Why? Because I haven't given you anything. These are generic. These are things for you to play with. They don't cost anything. They don't cost you a grade. They don't count for anything. You can take them if you want to, but they don't mean anything. Up above, up here, you're going to see Hubert's Unit 1 test, Hubert's Unit 2 test. You will see it when we get close to the end of Unit 1 material. And grade book. Show overall grade, and it'll put up a zero because you haven't done anything. That will increase as you put grades in. Now, the good thing about homework is and make sure you do the orientation because that's included um 5.6 homework let's do question one i hope it's something that's not long and drawn out because i don't feel like doing anything that's long and drawn out when i haven't even taught you anything yet so okay factor completely if the polynomial prime state this well is there anything in common with seven and sixty three seven so you would click this and you would type 7 parentheses x squared oop the x plus and 3 x minus 3 x plus 3 oh, horse pucky plus 3 parentheses parentheses I suck at this x minus 3 and then delete delete and that's your answer. Well, let's say you don't know how to do it. And let's say that 
you typed in x plus 3 quantity squared. You get that wrong. Check answer. I would love to program these, these things in here for people. Wouldn't you love to do that? You suck. Quit school. That's what I would write. You are a loser. McDonald's is hiring. Okay? I would love to put stuff like that. They'd fire me after the first week. But anyway, it'll say, okay, go back and check. You need to do this, this, and this. And you go back and you say, well, my answer's right. Okay. You need to go back and check it. That's two tries. And then after the third try, it's going to say, you're a DA and you don't listen to people. Okay? And it's going to say, done. What does it put up here for your answer? Little X. And go back and hit similar exercise and type in two parentheses x plus five close parentheses x minus five and hit check answer and watch what happens to your little x up here it changed to a check mark so what does that mean everybody should turn in on homework Will they? Negative 15s, 52s, 36s. At the end of the semester, there'll be some 36s and 22s. And I don't know how you get a negative, but yeah, some of y'all, some students get a negative for homework. So you can do them until you get them right. Okay? All right, hit save when you get through. And I got one right. So now I go to my grade book so I can be depressed and hit show overall grade and I've got a 4.5. I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Um, I think that's rated at, okay. so it would probably be like two days yeah. or two, three days. So you still need to, they're going to get you hey, one I'm way just, or the I'm other. Just offered. I have mine already, but I mean, I'm just, I'm just <laughs> They probably have rated it like three days for a seven-week class or a week for a seven-week class versus 14 days for a 14-week class. I don't know how to do it, but yeah, technically you could do three-quarters of the work if they left it that way. I don't know. Um, let me go back to the homework and go over the, the uh, things that are offered. Uh, question two. Well, well, let's, let me go back. I don't want to do that. Close. I want to find one that's got everything on it. Well, this is only one that does. It's got a little icon beside it. All right. Now, first of all, why did you start using this and why are you still using it? Well, the reason I started using this was because of different learning styles. When you go to college and you learn how to do education and you learn how to teach, which some people don't do. Some people just get a degree and start teaching and you can tell the difference. Um, they tell you the different learning styles. Some people are visual learners. Some, some are auditory learners. Some are just text learners. They just like to read. And that's why I started using this because of the different learning styles on the right-hand side. These, this, this system is not designed to teach you. It's not designed for me to go sit in my office while y'all sit in here and do it on your own. That's not what it's designed to do. What this system is designed to do, if you've ever been doing homework in a math class and you get number 10 and you can't do number 10 and therefore you can't do 10 through 50, you can't get over that hump. These buttons right here are designed to help you get over that hump. That's what it's designed to do. It's not designed to teach you. It's designed to get you over homes. Help me solve this is the guided lecture or guided tutorial. Some people don't like this because it asks questions. It's kind of like the tu tutor you go to and they say, okay, what kind of problem do we have here? We have a polynomial. What can we do to a polynomial? Well, we can expand it or we can bring it in. We can simplify it. Well, which one are we going to do here? Well, it's four terms, so we're going to group the first two and the last two. And why are we going to do the first two and the last two? Why don't we do the first three and the last one? Well, because they're not. And, and the tutor will ask you questions. If you've ever had a tutor like that, sometimes it can drive you crazy. All right? So when you get the help me solve this, that is a guided 
tutorial. They're going to ask you questions. And they're going to wait for you to answer. And then after you answer it, then you're going to go back and do the problem. So that's a guided tutorial. Help me solve this is a guided tutorial. Do you an example? Just show me how to do it. That's what that is. No guided. They don't ask you any questions. They just what? Show you how to do it. A lot of people use this because they just want to see how to do it. A lot of you that remember a little bit but don't remember it all, you use the you an example where a student that hasn't seen factoring before might want to use help me solve this. That's the difference between the two. Textbook, that's for you people that like to read. Okay? I don't like to read. I fall asleep reading the funny paper. I can't help it. When I sleep, when I fall asleep, when I need to fall asleep, all I gotta do is get something to read and I'll fall asleep. Um, so I'm not a reader. But when you hit textbook, it'll take you to the textbook, the exact place where this material is introduced, and you can read, read, read to your heart's content. And there's where it starts right there. Okay? And you can print this out. You can actually go and print it out 10 section, 10 pages at a time where the little print button is. Well, where is the print button? Up here. Print right here. And this is where people that don't want to lug a book back and forth, you just print out, if, if I'm going to cover 5.1 tomorrow, and the next day you print out 5.1, bring it to class. 5.2, bring it to class. Usually I would at least print out a couple of sections, a couple of three, because we're going to have to couple couple. We're going to have to cover two to three sections a, a day to get y'all, you know, to the, I'm not worried about that right now. The first two days, I'm going to go over all this stuff. Or the first day. Okay? So that's how you print that out. Hit the print button right there and it prints out, uh, I think eight to ten pages at a time. It'll ask you. Let's see. Oops. Let's say ten. Yeah, 10 pages at a time. 10 pages will usually get you the, the reading part and the in-class, in-book home, you know, the in-book homework that you used to do. You know, it'll do all the odds in the book. You know, it'll give you that and you put three poles in it and put it in your notebook. Rank class. Okay, so that's how you do that. All right, well, let's say that you're doing the homework and you still... I mean, you, you do go through those questions and you still don't know how to do it. That's when you use this button. You use this button and say, Hubert, if you wasn't such a terrible teacher, I would know how to do this. You suck. Now, I'm doing that for a reason. Puberty. Alright? You send it. And then the next day of class, I will go through my emails and I will pull up any homework questions that I get and I will get them. And there it is. How do I know it's that when you just send you just you how do you know you just didn't send that? I'll well, pull it up. Oh, <laughs> Tri-County Tech, only place where teachers get logged out, 15.3 microseconds, and look at here, it came real time, it comes to me just as soon as you send it. Now the good thing about this, somebody emailed me about texting me questions about class. And I said, that's fine. You can text me all day long because that's, that's the best way to get in touch with me is through my cell phone. And texting is the best way because I just like text. I like text versus getting phone call. That's just me. But sometimes I'm on a tractor or I'm on the farm or I'm in a meeting and I can't talk to you, but I can text you. So that's why I like but, but I told them, I said, yes, you can text me your questions, but the best way to send me a question in in class is through this because all I have to do is hit this link and instead of you typing the problem it will what? It'll bring it right up. Now these are great for class. 
because that way you can send me as many problems as you want. Now, what will that do as far as the class goes? Well, will it tell me how much you know and how much you don't know? Yes. Will it make me speed up the class or slow down the class? It'll slow down to a certain extent. Okay? All right? I do know when students are sending me problems just to send me problems. Okay? I do know that. All right? But this is the best way to get me to go over the material. Therefore, I don't have office hours because the days that I save from having to check homework, from having to look at homework, from having to give you a test, from having to give you back the test and go over the test, you're talking about five to six days during the summer that I don't have to do that. Well, I could spend more time doing what I'm supposed to do, which is what? Teach. And I can use those five days to use to go over material that you don't understand versus, oh gosh, we got to go through 5.1 through 5.6 today, and if we don't do that, then we're all going to get hit by lightning when we walk out of the building. Okay, I don't do that. I go over these. If we go over 5.1 material, the next day I don't have any questions from 5.1, what am I going to assume? So if you don't do the homework, you're cutting your own what? Because I'm going to be going on 5.2 and 5.3. Billy Bob... Uh, I guess I'll do my homework today. It's fifth day. He's going to send me questions on 5.1, and I'm going to wait till the end of the unit to go over those 5.1 questions, and he's not going to be able to go on 5.2, so he's cutting his own throat. Okay, so stay up with the homework. That'll take care of that excuse. How do you... What did this... Oh, print. How do you print? Well, you hit print. And it'll ask you, it should ask you if you want to print the whole thing. Okay, it didn't. Usually when you hit print, it'll come up with, do you want to, okay. Okay, it won't. Sometimes it says, do you want to print the whole assignment, or do you want to print just one problem? There's no reason for you to print this one problem unless you just want to put it on my desk at the beginning of the class, and that's fine too, but people usually just send it to me. And then I'll go over it here. Okay. Print the whole assignment. Do not go back to the assignment until you're ready to type in what? The answers, because if you type in answer here and change it after you already printed it, it's going to change the problem. So don't do that. Okay? And that's how you do that. Now, what about YouTube? Well, when you go to YouTube, I'm going when when y'all leave here today, I'm going to post this. And it's going to be in the Math 102 Summer, it'll be called Summer Math 102 class. That's what I'll call it. And when you go to Hubert, you'll see, well, just type in, I'm already on the here, but when you pull up Hubert McClure, you're going to get two, there they are. There's a maroon shirt and a green shirt. Green shirt, I usually do for office hours. In other words, everything on the green channel, the green shirt channel, is stuff that I do in my office. So you can actually send me, let's say it's over the weekend on Saturday. The problem is Saturday, I don't carry this, this, this overhead camera. I don't carry it home with me. I guess I could, but I don't. Um, let's say Friday afternoon, and I'm still Friday morning. And you live in BFE, Star, Southern Iva, South Iva, down Lound, okay? And you don't want to have to travel all the way up here to see me for office hours. Well, I can do this. I'm not, not saying this channel. I can do this kind of camera video in my office if you'll just send me the question and say, Hubert, call me at blah, 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 blah. I want you to send me a video on this. And I will. Simple as that. But you got to let me know you want a video at that moment. You can't send it and say, could you do this for me? Could I do it when? You know, you got to let me know when you want it. Do you want me to do it for class? Or do you want me to do it now? Or what? you got to let me know. Okay? And these are all office hours that students have contacted me. And in all my office hours, I save on the, uh, the green shirt channel okay and I actually did problems when students would come and 
in the class, I would, in my office, I would do it on the board. I'd turn that camera around and I'd shoot it because why should I take that problem, video it, and then keep it to myself? I put it on here so that way if students see it, they need it, they can use it. Okay? Now there are some uh, partial fractions in calculus too. You don't need to click on that. I would not click on that if I was you. Uh, unless you just want to be real discouraged. Now, go to the maroon channel, maroon shirt, and you will see the classes. Go to class list, playlist, I'm sorry. Go to the playlist, and here's all my classes since I've been videoing, which is about a year's worth. And the class you would be interested in will be yours because, well, I did teach a 102 right there. Huh. I don't know when I taught that. I have no idea when I taught that. Okay. I hate to hear myself. I'm sorry. Oh, shut up. Okay. I hate to hear myself. Oh. Sound off, can't you? Let's see. I don't want to play all. I want to see the dates. I don't see any dates. Here we go. Where? Okay, this was last summer. So this is last summer. So you can, you, some of you can already, here's the first day handouts, which I go over the same thing. This is My Labs Plus, and then here's, I had to put dates and planning in there because that's last year's when they started. We need to tell our students when dates, we, when, we'll, when we'll have tests. So here's where I start teaching right here, reverse FOIL. And reverse, this is 5.1 and 5.2 or 4.1, whatever, whatever chapters that is. So some of you can go ahead and get started on these if you wanted to. But I will call this video, I will call it First Day, My Labs Plus, and Class. Just to, because I won't have to spend time, two or three days going over the same stuff. Alright, so that's how you get there. So today I will start a new playlist and call it summer 2015 math 102 and that's what y'all will go to if you're absent if you're on vacation or whatever and that way you won't be able to use the excuse I didn't know what you went over in class because that's gone too all right who's got questions and you can like look probably covered the same stuff so and you gotta wait till I you know, take a picture of a picture of a picture. Kind of keeps on going. Okay, you can get through that. Yeah, see, same stuff. I should have worn my pink shirt today. I got like five pink shirts. See, I covered the outline. I covered the. Uh, the things you will be graded on. Here, My Labs Plus. See, I'm covering this, the, the buttons. And I cover everything. Now, what if you don't want that? What if you don't want the video? Well, if you don't want the video, you can do screen captures. Um, I don't know. Here we go. This is a screen capture. Do you know when I put my my little thumb drive up in the computer right here? All I'm doing is capturing what's on the screen here. The difference between the video and the screen capture is I'm not on the actual video. And I don't want to know why you want to see that, okay? Because that could be very detrimental to my self-esteem, all right? But uh, some people just like it because it's more concentrated just on the board, and that's fine. Uh, I understand. Okay? And see, this is slope and y intercept. So, you will have two videos posted today. One, it'll say SC or screen capture or something like that. The other one will just say video. And sometimes the videos on that SD card will come in three segments. Usually an hour, hour and a half, or two hours is three segments. 
So I'll say video one, video two, and video three of the class. Screen captures, they don't cover as much. They don't have as much information, so I can usually get them on one upload. Okay? And I don't know why it stopped unless I stopped talking. I'll turn it on for just a second, but I don't like to turn it on. What is it? They know that you need to solve for Y. That's fine, so. So, so you can hear. Four Y. Okay, is that enough? Good. And it just goes through and and it goes through and does that. So let me ask you something. Is there any way for you to fail this class? No. There is no way. If you ever walk up to somebody and say they hate me as a teacher and that they failed my class, get away from them. Because either their laziness or their stupidity is going to rub off on you. And I think you should be able to go to rate my professor and see that. Now, I was told that somebody bashed me last semester, and I know exactly who it was. It was a student from a local high school that the high school treats their cheerleaders and football players like gods and goddesses. And she wanted to be treated like that, and I didn't treat her like that, and she got mad at me. And after she called me a jerk, that was pretty much it. So, I'll tell you this. I have been teaching for over 21 years at Tri-County Tech. It was my first job. Do you know how many people I've sent out of my room in 21 years? 21 years times three, that's 63 classes. 63 classes, no, 63 semesters. 63 semesters times maybe, let's say an average of four classes a semester. 63 times four is what, 252? 252 classes. Do you know how many people I've sent out of my class? No one will take a guess. How'd you know that? Huh? Three. And she was one of them. She was the only female. The other two were males. One was just socially awkward. Like the second semester, I, I finally, I told him, I said, listen, I said, you're going to have to go to my office and wait on me. We're going to have to talk. He would like laugh at a joke 15 minutes after. I mean, just, you ever met somebody that just was socially inept? Socially awkward? Oh. The second guy, he was a caveman. Ultra caveman. Wouldn't let his, he took classes with his girlfriend so he could sit beside his girlfriend so she could, he could monitor who she talked to. Okay? Anyway, to this day, I still keep up with his girlfriend because she, she like broke up with him after I let, she like broke up with him. I'll tell you the story. But anyway, she just graduated Clemson about two years ago and she works, she, she does co-op and internship for a politician uh, senator. So she's doing real good. Um, she got rid of him. Anyway, they were in my 102 class. It was during the summer and uh, about three quarters of the way through, I said, I said something, we were doing something on the, the board, on the whiteboard. I didn't video back then. I wish I did. But um, I said, this was at the Pendleton campus. Um, if you've been, if, you, if you're familiar with the Pendleton campus on the third floor, second floor, on the stair end, not the elevator end, the stair end, when you come around the corner, there's that first classroom on the right. It was that classroom. I don't know the number, but anyway. Um, I said, well, you really need to do it this way because this is the way you're going to be doing it in college algebra. And you know those moments when nobody says anything and it gets real quiet? Yeah. And right after that, he said, you don't need to do it that way. You do it the way I show you. And I don't know, I might have been a bitchy that day, or I don't know, it might have been just a day for me. But I turned around and I said, why don't you leave? And he said, fine, I'll leave. And he said, come on. And she said, no. And oh my gosh, he, he, almost, he almost had me call security on it because he, he, he like went crazy because she, she said no. And I said, please leave. And then he started to look at her, and I said, please leave. I'll security. And he was just a caveman. 
and then this chick, and it was just fall. Let's say spring, some, some, yeah, fall. Down here at the first room, 206, 208, right down here. And she sat right over there against the window. And she just thought that her, uh, her sweat didn't stink. And she thought that she was supposed to be treated a certain way. And, you know, after so long, after I go over a problem, and five seconds after I go over a problem, or five minutes after I go over a problem, she gets off on Facebook and says, How'd you do that problem again? I got tired of it. So, just again, courtesy. Treat me. Try, I'll treat you the way that I want to be treated. And I hope you do the same. Alright, who's got questions about anything I've covered today? Nobody's got a question on who Hammy the Squirrel is? Did you, did you Google it? No, Google no, it. I know the movie by heart. Okay. Well, you got kids? Uh -huh. Yeah, Hammy, I, that's those students that come in. Who worries about dates the most? Anybody ever thought about that? The people that I've seen that worries about dates the most are the people that wait until what? The last minute. They wait until the last minute. Don't advertise that you're procrastinating, okay? You may be concerned, and there's a difference between being, being concerned and a procrastinating. The concerned person will say, okay, he's going to tell us. I'll just do my work and he'll tell us when it's done. But Hammy, the procrastinator, will ask me about dates every day from now until the unit one test. And I'm just going to ignore them because I've already talked about them. Okay? Who else has got questions? Any other questions pertaining to anything? What should you do? Yes, ma'am. I have a question. Yes. I know I read your comment about the big scientific Yeah. Can I set up some time with you Yes, I, I will be glad use, to. I don't use I hate well, that's a good thing because have you ever been to a restaurant and gave somebody or the retail place and it come up to be your your total come up to be nine dollars and ninety seven cent and you give them a twenty or a ten and seven cent and their heads explode? That's why because they depend on the calculator too much. But I know I need it. Really yeah, and you do need it. And one twenty, you need it. And one twenty, I will tell students. Get out your calculators. We're going to I'm going to show you an easier way to do this. But you should be able to make change between $19.97 and $10.07. You should be able to do that. Okay, if you can't, then you need to brush up on your arithmetic because that's ridiculous. And if I ever catch somebody on, and I've done it, and if I ever catch somebody, I'll go to the manager and I'm going to say that person should not be on the cash register because she can't make change. He or she cannot make change. I shut down McDonald's on 81. The manager had to go back in his office and get a calculator because he didn't know the difference between 76 cent and 6 cent. Yeah. The next dollar. It was like, my, my bill was like $6 and 56 cent. I can't remember. 97. I can't remember the exact. Yeah, 97. Or I gave him 7 cent. 57, 57 cent. That's what it was. 57. It was nine dollars. It was six dollars and fifty-seven cent, and I gave him ten dollars and seven cent. And the guy at the cash register, he didn't have a clue. He had already rang it up as ten dollars. And then when I gave him the seven cent, he just looked at me like this, and I looked at him like this. He said, "What is this?" I said, "That's so you can give me correct change back." I don't know what to do. I said, well, you need to tell your manager that. And the manager come up and said, hold on just a second. And he went back and got his calculator. I just shook my head. So you're one of those people we're not making fun of. You don't raise your hand. But, but that that's why. Because people take the calculator and add 4 plus 18 in your calculator. There's no reason for that. But yeah, I'll show you how to use it. All right, who's got other questions? Anything? Because tomorrow we'll probably start on math, okay? Uh, what you need to do tonight, get your book, define, define what kind of book you're going to use, old, new, used, borrowed, shared. Y'all can share one. If y'all know each other, share a book. I don't care. Print out the book, whatever you want to do. I don't care about that. Get you a notebook, whatever you get, that's fine. Calculator, a five... Five function calculator will be fine. 
That means if it has sine, cosine, and tangent on it, that's fine. Anything above that's fine. But you're not going to need it for this first unit because all it is is factoring. And if you don't know your multiplication tables, then we got another problem. All right? Um, get on uh, my lab plus. Get on that. Hopefully by tomorrow, y'all should start working on whatever sections those were after orientation. Look at your syllabus, and that will pretty much take care of that. Who's got questions? I'm going to stop this so I can...